Hello, I'm Chief Warrant Officer Pinion, U.S. Navy retired, telling my sea stories. Well, this one is a continuation of an earlier one, and when I talked about side jobs or entrepreneurship. Well, I was a junior enlisted man in the arresting gear crew aboard the USS Ticonderoga, which was my first ship. When a first-class petty officer in the arresting gear crew, his wife got a job in a donut shop in San Diego, California. They only had one car, so he would take her to work like at 0500 in the morning and they would be making donuts. <clears throat> and then he would bring the car and come on to work. This is when the ship's in port. Well, he quickly discovered that they had a whole bunch of day old donuts that they were going to either throw away or sell as animal feed or whatever for like 10 cents a dozen. Back in this era, late 1950s, early 1960s decade, the preservatives that they put in uh, baked goods that make them last a long time didn't exist or really hadn't been brought into common usage yet. So day-old donuts were already getting stale. Well, about the second or third day he dropping his wife off, they were packaging up cases of day olds, and they were going to get rid of them. He asked them about that. They said, yeah, they're day old, so we can't sell them. Just, you know, 10 cents a dozen. He said, give me a dozen, dozen of them. And they did for 10 cents a dozen. So he bought them, and he brought them to the ship, up to the rescue workshop, <clears throat> where he told the guys, uh, 10 cents a piece or three for a quarter. Donuts. People grabbed them up. I mean, just grabbed them up and were able to sell all of them right there in V2 Division. Well, the next day he brought more. A great, big, huge cardboard box full of them. And so they brought them out and he had a, oh, half a dozen junior enlisted men, uh, non-rated men and third class petty officers, that he offered them free donuts if they would distribute them and get orders for donuts. So they spread out all over the ship telling people, you know, uh, got donuts, fresh donuts for sale, 10 cents a piece or three for a quarter, or you can get a dozen for like $2 or something. I don't know what it was. A uh, dozen for a dollar, and a dozen for a dollar probably. I don't know. Anyway, they got orders for them. Man, people all over the ship left that up. Well, he kept getting more and more of these day olds until they didn't have any more day olds. So he started buying fresh donuts in addition to taking all of their day olds. And bring them, I mean, big cases of donuts. He was supplying donuts to offices all over the ship, and even the captain's office brought bought a dozen donuts from him every day. And the ward room, he became the main supplier of the ship's war room of donuts. Now, <clears throat> my reason for telling this story is this first class petty officer was an entrepreneur. He recognized opportunity when he saw it and he was able to exploit it over these donuts. Him and his wife made a lot of money off those donuts. Uh, uh, I guess they were still selling donuts last he was bored. I guess he transferred to shore duty, you know, uh, before I transferred to shore duty. But this donut story really alerted me to opportunities to make extra money. They're there, folks. The world is full of opportunities. 
And if you can train yourself to recognize them and to exploit them, uh, you'll never be poor. Uh, end of that story.